a short treatise on the schools of magic after precursor times by Zacharias Vorlong. Apart from the well-known elemental mages, there were several smaller groups devoted to other mystical faculties. After the downfall of Karath Din, I think that was the, the lava place, four new schools came into being as additions to the four elements, restoration, conjuration, scrying, and necromancy. Restoration, the school of healing, the art of potion making plays a major role in the school of healing. It is an ancient wisdom that has been passed down through many generations. While healers in precursor times mainly focus on restoring people's health, there are many potions which have other useful effects today. Conjuration, the school of summoning, conjuring extra-dimensional beings, is an art largely lost in today's times, and it is also probably mostly terrifying. Summoners were quite common in Karath Din, but nowadays such practices are denounced as pagan rites. Scrying, the school of far-seeing. It is rumored that today's keepers emerged from the precursor guild of enlightenment. Oh, the person who wrote this knows about the keepers. That is interesting. It is rumored that today's keepers emerged from the precursor guild of enlightenment. Although such a theory is based on a rather unsteady foundation, presumably the scryers were the first to see the end of Karathdin coming, but the new emperor ignored their warnings until it was too late. Necromancy, the school of death. Certainly being the darkest of the four, necromancy is a faculty very much frowned upon by the majority of mages. Not just in precursor times was raising the dead or extending one's lifespan through them considered a blasphemous act. Besides, no matter how experienced a necromancer is, only the dead know what death really means. Hmm. So what this tells us is that maybe Farrington was into magic stuff? What is that? Oh, interesting. It's, it's the four things we just learned about. What's this? I am particularly fascinated by the blue torches found and lit throughout the crypt. They must have been burning for centuries without the need of any fuel or air. I tried to take one of them with me for closer studies, but as soon as I moved it more than a few inches away, it went out. Obviously, these torches are magical. Another hint that these tombs were built by mages. Oh? <coughs> so first of all, he talks about some kind of crypt. When I say he, I imagine, uh, I mean Farrington, because uh, at least at my current point, I would imagine that this was also written by Farrington, the one who passed away, um, and the one who seems to be dabbling in, in magic stuff. And yeah, he mentions a crypt, found lit throughout the crypt. It's And he is surprised about all this, so maybe he found a crypt recently? <coughs> And something about tombs built by mages, like... Our objectives said something about rumors about a mage's order below the manor, so maybe he went digging below the manor and stumbled upon something? That is a pretty creepy uh, thing, actually, to imagine, and very Lovecraftian, if you ask me. Like you have this huge manor and maybe you dig in a cellar and you find a crypt that leads into a huge underground city with horrible monsters or something. What is that? Oh. The moon. Okay. Hmm. Not sure what to make of that yet, but it said look to the stars with the like when when I'm something with the eight levers and look to the stars. Does that have to do anything with this? Gotta keep it in mind. Maybe I can... Observatory, okay. I mean, I guess I don't have to... Is this the observatory? Yeah, I think it is. <coughs> don't have to put anything on the map then. It's already clear by the name that it has a telescope. Be careful now. Shit, this won't open. Fuck. There's a guard. Oh, damn it. Well, that was a wasted arrow. Is he coming this way? I think he is. Do something about him. Oh. There we 
Do you have anything to hide What's there? Do you have a key? What? Perfect. Alright. Huh. A library? And I saw that there's a book up there. Or something. Does it also have a secret? It has one. I mean, they always have, don't they? Okay, I'll check that out in a minute. First of all, what's this? Oh, of course, it's locked. Okay, some gold. Legendary Artifacts Part 1. Legendary Artifacts Part 1, a compilation in progress by Nadim, 5th Mage of the Dawn. Ezekiel's sister gemstones. Ezekiel, a mage attributed to precursor times, devoted his life to the study of stones and their magical abilities. He is most remembered for his expeditions, which ultimately led him to the discovery of three identically cut gemstones. There was no doubt about the magical origin of these stones, because no precursor gem cutter would have been able to work with such perfect precision. Later, Ezekiel found that they radiated waves of energy when pressurized, but his studies were ended abruptly by the destruction of Karath Din. The sister gemstones were lost during the cataclysm. The... what? The Dormicost? The original purpose of this Dormicost, a magical sword forged in the Hall of Embers, is surrounded by several legends not few of them contradicting each other. It is believed that the weapon was formed as a counterweight to another magical artifact created at the same time. The sword glows in the dark and has the ability to damage unholy creatures. When brought in contact with holy water, the Zdormikost reacts by radiating extreme heat for a brief moment. This way it can always be released should its sharp blade be stuck in stone or metal. The sword is currently in the possession of a crub, a seventh mage of the dawn. Huh. And vault door manual. Upston and Smith, high security vault door, installation and a maintenance guide. <laughs> There's the serial number. Congratulations on your decision to purchase a Hopston and Smith high security vault door. At Hopston and Smith, we strive to provide you with the very best in safekeeping and protection. Serving major customers across the city for over 50 years, we have earned our reputation as an upstanding business and our renowned name in maximum security. <laughs> you skip several pages full of. <laughs> this, this, is rough. this is great. You skip several pages full of self praising gibberish. Chapter 1, Installation, continued. Thanks to the special alloy the security door is made of... No, oh, thanks to the special alloy the security door is made of, and the reinforced concrete surrounding it, there's no possible way but to, of entering the vault by force. Security tip number 13. Our doors are designed to withstand even medium-sized earthquakes, but be aware that large vibrations could cause the security lock to reset itself to the standard factory setting. Mm-hmm. Should keep that in mind. <laughs> Browsing. Chapter 3, The Combination Lock. This chapter provides you with an easy-to-follow step-by-step guide on how to change your lock's combination. This is a very crucial step. I'm just going to skim over this because I am going to read it properly if we ever come across this combination lock. This is a regular As soon as your wall door has been installed, remove the 16 screws. Press the buttons, label up the door, turn the dot. Wait push buttons labeled A and B simultaneously. How am I going to do that all alone? Turn the dial to set your new combination. The standard factory settings the last four digits of the door serial number. Change it as soon as possible, but I'm, I'm memorizing your new, new combination. Do not write it down. Okay. If we find this, we have to look into this again, but I, I don't feel like reading all that right now if it might not be important until several hours later. Huh. What key would open this? This won't open it. And it won't react to my lockpicks. Oh. Okay. Anything else here? Okay, let's check this. Oh. 
it's like secret passages. They can actually spy on people. Hmm. What is this? Lexicon of Obscure Acronyms, Volume uh, 12. <laughs> I was a teenage worker, Rick. Life in the Old Quarter, Madame Isolde's Indelicate Inn. Thousand ways to use thy hammer. <coughs> I... Okay. Wonder what he was doing here. Thousand ways to use thy hammer. Good. I feel like... Who comes on to me? Okay, this will work. Perhaps. Vigilance is our shield. Wait, is he sleeping? I think he's sleeping. Who's making those noises? <laughs> Shit. <sighs> Just in time. Who are you? Nathaniel Farrington. It's one of the sons. Uh, which one? Do we have? Do we have the? Testament? No, I think it'll. W it was not uh, pick up a ball. But it's one of the sons. Forgot which one. The oldest? I think. He was. Man, he was drunk, I guess. What have we here? The Eye of Argon by Jim Thies. Okay, nothing important then. is this? It's the living room. So this here would lead uh, leads here. And there's the balcony. I think I should be very careful here. That's the entrance hall down there. I'm gonna continue with the uh, small rooms first. Luna. She was a good girl. <laughs> She's with the builder now. What the hell? Okay. Don't see anything else in here. You know what? I'm not gonna leave him here. If a guard comes in here, it's not not gonna be good. Okay. Going back here, should do something about this guy. Oh shit! I alerted him. There's nothing there now. There's a guard again. I still wonder what the wall save key is for. Did I miss a wall save in here? I don't think I did. I might as well check before I'm in a completely different area. But no, there's nothing here. Should I? I think a guard is coming I right. Piece of you. Uh oh. Uh oh. Blah. I can't believe that worked. <laughs> but I did. I deserved that. I was an idiot for leaving the room. It was way too bright. Should have waited until he passed. Okay. A bit more careful now, please. Somebody else is coming. <coughs> you go in there as well? Good night. Oh, well that's um... a bit unfortunate. <laughs> it's funny I could pick their buddy up through the door. Okay, I'm gonna put you here. No. <sighs> Behind the desk, please. Thanks. Now on to this guy. Uh. I thought I heard something. Okay, he's still facing the other way. Our shield, which protects us from our squalid past. Our 
Oh, I didn't kill him. That sounded pretty bad. Brother Sullyard and I arrived at late Robert Farrington's manor this morning. Okay, so he arrived here when Farrington was already dead. Why? Oh. Hmm. Well, I mean, he, he has a Hammerite church in, in, in the basement or something. Um, or like uh, in some underground place, there there's a Hammerite church apparently. So I would assume he has good connections to the Hammerites, and they would at least pay him respect. Their respects when he died. But it seems the the that the testament was not found yet. I mean, that's what the objective said as well. Until we found it, so none of them already know who is going to get what. So I can imagine that the sons would. Uh, because it says after a minor dispute with his hair with his heirs, um, Nathaniel and Jeffrey, we were allowed to occupy both guest rooms since the beds in Ferrington Church are already in use. I could imagine the sons are not so happy because they feel like the Hammer Church might be here to, like, because they want a piece of the cake. And since the testament has not been found, nobody knows yet who is going to get what. <coughs> the hammer of righteousness shall fall on those who build their walls on a foundation of falsehood. As requested by High Priest Relic, we brought 16 eternal candles from Lightforge Cathedral. Farrington Church's occasional underground winds kept blowing out the common ones. Hmm, okay. Thy life is a trial, as thy path is strewn with deceit. Be wary of liars, for they take the builder's words and twist them with their forked tongues. I'm trying to find some rest, but Brother Celia's chants keep me awake. I do wonder why I can hear them coming from the western wall. Huh. With the same force, a nail needs to be driven into the wood. A novice needs to be disciplined, so he doth not stray from the one true path. I guess that would have been a hint at the fact that there's, like, hidden passages in the wall. Oh, hello. sound is kind of hilarious. <laughs> Anything behind this? No, not really. You always should check. Man, I still love these graphics. As old and outdated as they may be, for some reason I just find them incredibly atmospheric. It never gets old for me. Brother Selyard. The recent dem demise of Lord Robert Farrington hath once again brought up the question about the rightful heir of Farrington Church. As thou surely dost know, Robert's father, Edward, built the underground church as a donation to the Order. But an ambiguous wording in his last will made Robert the exclusive owner, although we do know that Robert was by far not as devoted a follower of the Hammer as his father had been, it is expected that Farrington Church will finally be passed to the Hammerite Order. I mean, that fits to what we found in the Testament, right? It hath been decided that thou art to travel to Farrington Manor and attend the reading of the testament as a res representative of the order. Thy knowledge about secular legislation and the law of succession in particular might prove to be useful in this matter. May the hammer fall on the unrighteous. Officially, Father Terence. Okay, cool. So that explains why both of these hammer eyes are here. Which I think is cool. Any water arrows, perchance? No. Okay. Careful. Also, what is that? Shit. Somebody's coming. Did you see that? There was uh, something leading to the attic or something? But it was locked. Maybe we have to find a key for that as well. I mean, I could try my, my lock picks, but as you can see, they don't reach very far, so I don't think that's going to work. Hmm. 
What a strange room. Oh. Not so strange anymore. Maybe the wall safe keys for this? It is. Holy shit. Well, that is... Okay, I did not expect that. The hunting dragon. Well, we have that now. But you know, I feel like... Could it be that this is actually used for for the lever thing like you see they're like one two three four five six seven eight there are eight points so we find eight levers this might be telling us how to place them in some way did you hear that that sound there What the hell is that? Is it coming from the next room? Attention, on Lord Ferriton's order, the door to this chamber is to remain barred indefinitely. No one is permitted entry without the explicit instruction of the Lord. Furthermore, do not try to rely the malfunctioning gaslight. It will be replaced in the near future, the captain. It's coming from here. Hmm. That's creepy. But doesn't seem like there's any way in there from here at least. Is he coming this way? That's not good. here. It's at least somewhat um, darker. What is that smell? It smells like old meat. Who's been here? I just guess I've been here only a few months. I think that I can uh, he closed the door. Hey, oh. Shit! Too hasty. Sorry. Should have just waited a bit longer. Well, it's been a long time since I played this game, so that's why I suck. A little bit. More than usual. It looks like a. Oh man, that looks like a, an opening. Has to be something to open this. What's this? Jeffrey's note. Nathan, I searched Father's study and his office for an entire hour but couldn't find anything remotely resembling a testament. Dude, I searched it for one minute and I found it immediately. You are idiots. Either the old bugger didn't want us to find his last will or there isn't one at all. He arranged weekly barrack fights down in the arena and from the bills I gather there must be quite some money around. I thought this house used to be just a vacation place for him, but it seems that he was spending more and more time here during the last few months. And what's with all those guards? He was paying more once personal than that paranoid baffer. Speaking of paranoia... Um, apart from the two exhibits in the showroom, I haven't seen anything that looks like particularly valuable. Where did the old man hide all his wealth? I think I know where the entrance to the vault is. In front of that frightening death statue I stumbled over a trapdoor. The plaque at uh, the statue must be a clue how to open it, but I haven't figured it out yet. Maybe it has something to do with the glass windows and the elevator shafts. I was too tired to try anything. It'll have to wait until tomorrow. So this is another hint for something. But I think it's it's a paper we can take with us anyway, so we can look at it again later. I'm going to spend the night at Farnsworth, since those arrogant hammers are still occupying the guest rooms. Don't you dare take anything for yourself while you're alone in the house. Just because you're two years older doesn't mean you're entitled to a larger piece of the cake. I'll see you tomorrow when the notary has arrived, Jeffrey. Okay, so Nathaniel is the older one, the one that has, was drinking wine. 
the one I knocked out, and Jeffrey is the younger one. And uh, no, I want to find a way to to open that because I mean, look at that. There's, must be a way to open it. Maybe in the next room. Wait, I see it. Oh, locked again. <sighs> yeah, and they don't reach. Also, even if they <sighs> did, they don't work. Okay, could be that um, this you need to use this first to get into that room, and then you can leave the room again through this. That would be my guess now, because I can't really find any hidden switch or lever. Man, I want to know what's in there. But don't worry, we'll find out. We will, I'm sure. What's this? Dining hall? Yeah, dining room. Okay. Nobody in here. Careful. Anything here? There. Okay. on the ceiling. What's this? Oh, this is the dumb waiter. That was probably... It will bring me back down to the kitchen. <laughs> Not really necessary to use that right now. Uh huh. Oh, damn. Don't have a moss arrow, so this might be very risky. I'm gonna save and just see if I can do it. Don't turn around. Who made that noise? Just one move, Taffer, in your mind. You can't hide for long. Okay, so certainly is possible, but I shouldn't do it. I'll just leave him there. But that's all for this floor for now. I mean, there were some locked doors. I'm just coming. But I think now we have to check the rest. Oh. <gasps> Holy shit. Quick. What is this? the kitchen there. Where's this lead? Outside? Oh yeah, I have to be careful. I'm super bright here. Somebody could come at any moment. Okay. What is this? Not really sure, but maybe it's... Oh, it has some keys. A house key 
Fuck yeah. I should have gone here earlier. No, not really. I like it when you slowly unlock new places. Would have been kind of boring to have the house key from the start. But with that, we can enter new rooms and maybe find... Also find a way in that creepy room. But I think that's something we can do next time. I think it's a good length for a first episode. And yeah, it's bad. It's fun to be back in Thief 2. And I definitely plan on doing a lot of fan missions. And uh, there are so many crazy ones out there. You wouldn't even believe if I told you right now. You, you'll have to see with your own eyes what some people did with the Thief 2 engine. It's insane. And also how high quality video intros and cutscenes uh, uh, were created from some fan missions. It's really, it's insane. And the fan mission community is still alive. They still do contests and whatever in 2020. It's crazy. I love it. Um, this mission, I'm not sure if you already find it interesting. But yeah, believe me, it has lots of interesting surprises and twists. I very much enjoyed the story of this and I don't want to say too much so just yeah, keep at it and let let yourself be surprised we haven't seen um by far we haven't seen everything this mission has to offer and yeah there's gonna be a lot I don't know why I saved it again anyway see you next time I hope until then goodbye